Right now in the U.S. and beyond, if you're a reporter and if you're reporting on things people don't like, well, in the U.S., you may be subject to a lot of harassment, threats, sometimes death threats. They can get really ugly. Sometimes people will post your personal information online, like where you live and information about your family. There's been very little violence reported against reporters in the U.S., but it is a thing now. Outside the U.S., if you're a reporter, you're uh, subject to a lot more danger. You may not enjoy getting a polonium cocktail. The situation out in much of the world is that reporters' lives are at risk really frequently. So what I'm doing is reminding news organizations, newspapers, that they need to protect their people. And that means getting their own in-house security teams to protect their people against harassment. They need to start doing things like the appropriate, uh, oh, the appropriate forensics, which is actually uh, somewhat easier than it sounds until it gets very difficult. But I'm saying that newspapers need to work with each other to protect their people against harassment or worse, because it's only gonna get worse before it's get better.